Hello everyone. So, as a fantasy show, Game of Thrones is always praised on how realistic it is. But, how realistic is it actually? Say, if you were to wear an armor set from Game of Thrones in a real life battle, would you be saved? Well, honestly, most of the designs you see are really, really good. Some of them, though, are not as good. There are some designs that specifically caught my eye, and I'm going to talk about them today to tell you how effective they actually are. So join me in my quest and figure it out. So starting off with, in my opinion, the worst is actually the armor of the Lannisters. Starting with Jaime Lannister, who wears an armor set from the King's Guard, and on first glance it looks alright. He has a breastplate and scale mail that covers the upper leg all the way up to the knees, and he wears greaves. Since most of the people in the show appear to hate greaves, that is a pretty special thing. Although he has these tiny shoulder plates that do not overlap with his breastplate, leaving his armpits completely exposed. The armpit is a great target since there are huge, huge veins there. He also seems to wear no further arm protection, even though other members of the King's Guard do have more arm protection. No gauntlets though, but it's close enough. The helmets of the King's Guard are good though. This scale mail is there to protect the neck, which is something that most shows tend to forget. Except for this part in the front, which is obviously open and a huge target, their necks are protected, so that is actually a good thing. Joffrey has the same problem with his armor, but he doesn't have any leg protection at all. Not his upper leg, no griefs, nothing. Tywin Lannister wears the same set of armor, but he does have leg protection, so that's a point for you. So Rob Stark is already doing it way better. He wears no helmet, obviously, and that's a really, really stupid thing, but his arms are completely covered. His armor also reaches all the way to his knees, which is a great thing, it's something I really love. His armpits and sides are well protected, so nothing wrong there. No griefs, again, but other than that, it seems fine. Now going to the Hound, now obviously his helmet is a little ridiculous, but I don't think that even within the show it's supposed to be effective. More of a show-off thing. His armor is pretty good, although it's not flawless. His legs are a little exposed, you can clearly see his knees at practically any time. But he does wear griefs, and his upper body and arms are completely protected, so that's a very good thing. He should probably get a dent fixed though. Other than that, it's great. Point for you. So an example of armor done right is the armor of the mountain. Although it's not historically accurate, it still it looks like it protects you really well. It looks like he wears some sort of brigandine armor, I can't really tell. I also can't tell if this is metal or leather, but other than that, just thinking of the fact that it's proper armor, then yeah, it would be fine. The helmet that he wears here, which is a type of great helm, is obviously way too big, and a real great helm would never be this large, it would be way too bulky. And this helmet has a really, really big gap for the eyes, which is, again, a huge target and thus quite stupid. Other than that, his legs are really, really well protected. Way better than the Hound's equipment. His shoulder plates also have these extending parts. I don't really know if they have a name or not, but they're actually there to protect your neck. As a sword hits your shoulder plate, it tends to slide off, and if it slides upwards, it hits your neck. Now it gets stuck on these parts. So, that's actually a plus as well. He also wears chainmail and a gambeson, which is great. No griefs, but he does wear griefs in the beginning though, so I don't really I don't really get that. Overall, it's pretty good armor. Now what I think is the best set of armor in the entire show is the armor worn by Brienne. There's really nothing I can say about it except for the fact that I think her chainmail is a little short. If it were a little longer, it would simply protect her legs better. But the second set of armor she wears completely fixes that problem, so there's honestly nothing to complain about. It is fine. So that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed, I sure did. Leave a like if you did, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more, and as always, thank you for joining my quest. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.